Welcome to a session on GraphX package of Apache Spark. It's a brief session on GraphX. It does not cover all the details on GraphX. Before understanding GraphX, let us first understand what is a graph. A graph is a data structure having vertices and edges. The vertices are connected via the edges. We can represent complex relationships using graph. Here in the example, the vertices represent the people. Each vertex has ID and properties. Rxin is a student and Jay Gonjal is a postdoctoral candidate and so on. The edges represent the relationships between these people. For example, student marked with three as ID is collaborator of seven postdoctoral candidate. Similarly, five Franklin is the advisor of three student. So the graph is defined by two tables, vertex table and as table. Most of the computational problems do have graph in one way or another. Many real life problems are solved using the graph data structure. Here are few examples of graph problems at large scale. First one is finding common friends in a social graph such as Facebook. The second example is to find the page rank. Second example is page rank. Page rank is the algorithm which made Google the most successful search engine. A search engine basically keeps downloading various pages from the internet. After downloading, it creates indexes and tries to understand the pages. Index is like a list of keywords with details about where those keywords were found. When we search for some keywords, the search engine returns the result from its index. These results are ordered by relevance. Google computed the relevance based on how many pages are linking to a page. The more number of pages would link to your website, the higher would be your rank. Also, the more important pages link to your website, the rank of your page will be further higher. This kind of computation required keeping the relationship between various pages as a graph. And the graph is generally represented as a table of vertices and edges. In case of web pages, the vertices would represent the pages and edges would represent the hyperlinking. Since there are billions of web pages. Google needed a MapReduce kind of infrastructure to do the page rank computation. The GraphX package of Spark unifies the ETL, extract, transform, and load functionality of data into graph structure. GraphX also provides exploratory analysis. GraphX is faster than Giraffe and slightly slower than the professional tool called GraphLab. GraphX makes it possible to view the same data as graph as well as the collections. It can convert the RDD into graph and vice versa. GraphX can transform and join graphs with RDDs efficiently. GraphX at its core basically extends the Spark RDD by introducing a new graph abstraction. The GraphX provides a very rich library of algorithms that involve graph computations. GraphX provides page rank algorithms. Page rank means if important pages are linking to your website, you will be more important. This algorithm can be applied in situations other than websites too. For example, we can use PageRank algorithm to find the rank of various Twitter handles. The connected component algorithms provided by GraphX can be used to identify the clusters amongst your Facebook friends. 
and another important algorithm on graph is triangle counting with this algorithm you can count the total number of triangles passing through each vertex the count of triangles is also a measure of clustering the other algorithms such as label propagation svd++ and strongly connected components are also provided by graphx it provides the fundamental operators on graphs such as subgraph join vertices aggregate messages and many more take a look at the api and programming guide for more details using these operators we can create our own algorithm 008 let us try to use page rank of spark graphx say we have the following graph of the people justin bieber is following barack obama and barack obama and lady gaga are following each other similarly there are john resig martin metal following one another while out of barack obama and lady gaga barack obama is more important because he is being followed by two persons this is what page rank algorithm in a very simplistic form is as more and more people are added to this graph the computation of ranks will become more complex it would need a decent amount of computation to find out the ranks of each node let us try to understand how to compute page rank using graphx first let us take a look at the data the data is located in slash data slash spark slash graphx this file is located in hdfs so we can use hadoop fscat command to see the contents of the file here it is a very small data each line contains two numbers which are space separated the first number represents the follower and the second number represents who is being followed so from first two lines we can say that 2 and 4 are following one also these are just the edges for graphx to compute page rank it only requires edges or relationships now let's start spark shell we would need to export the hadoop_conf_dir and yarn_conf_dir environment variables these variables should be pointing to the conf directory of your hadoop installation now launch the newer version of spark shell using slash user slash spark 2.0.2 slash bin slash spark dash shell wait for scala prompt to appear on the scala prompt we will be writing the code this code is available in our github repository inside spark slash examples slash graphx slash page rank dot scala the url for this repository is also available below in the references first let's load the graph using graph loader dot edge list file with spark context and the file name as argument This creates a graph object from plain text file having information about edges. Now, we can simply call graph.pageRank method and select the vertices after the page rank has been executed. That's it. We have calculated the page rank of each vertex. To take a look at the result, let's collect the ranks object. You can see that each vertex ID has a rank. we can further replace the id with the name of the person this can be easily achieved by joining the ids and the users let us create the rdd of users text file followed by the map transformation next join the users with the ranks afterwards we clean up the data structure leaving only the names using map method
you can see that it has properly computed the page ranks of users and also replaced ID with the name of the users. This following graph displays the ranks after the graph computation. That completes our quick introduction to GraphX. To know more about GraphX, please visit the GraphX API documentation on their own website, as mentioned in the references below.